And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms 4, the fourth ignition, and we head to the White Orphanage to find out what's really going down. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> it's always allegedly. <clears throat> Fancy. This place has a toilet that wipes your own ass. It looks more like a large-scale medical facility than an orphanage. Other than that, it doesn't look that unusual. This is the block we lived in. Hanging back on it now, they probably wanted it to look like an orphanage from the outside. Then the clues about my power aren't here, but rather... Yes, they'll be in the underground research facility. Inside that dark room. Even while they did all those things to us, the adults in the white coats kept saying... Our task is to evolve the form that life takes. Evolve life by man's own hand? That's absurd. But that's what they said. <laughs> that's what they, but that's what they said. So we get travel guide number 15. We'll take a look at that for the shits and giggles. By using gems, earth, water, fire, and... A, another typo. Earth, water, fire, and water. I think they meant air. You can perform elemental attacks independent of lay points. messed up when you think about it <laughs> doing these things to you know experimenting on children it's a really fucked up thing to do just saying it's running 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 So far, being very fortunate not to bump into any encounters. I don't, I don't remember if there are any here or not, to be quite honest with you. Yep. Yeah, it says me. I'm not that clear on what evolution is, but it really is. Is it really that special? Special isn't quite it. Evolution, it's something people can just do when they feel like it. For example, say we need people with two or three feet long necks. Two or three foot long necks? I don't know. What would we have to do in order to make those sort of people? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of riddle? No. Listen, in order to make people with two feet long necks, you'd put everyone in an environment where two feet long necks are necessary then wait a really long time do that and their necks will probably get two feet long eventually probably what if they don't who knows generally living things that are unable to evolve fail and adapt to their environment and die fail to adapt to their environment and die die <clears throat> it's a story that's been repeated countless of time countless times throughout f the history of Philgaia. Us humans, too, were born from such evolutionary processes which continue into the present. And in research to accelerate these processes into the future may have taken the taken place right here. That's what this means. Artificial evolution is definitely a little hard to swallow. Mm, that's because it's it's artificial. <laughs> um. Let's grab this. Hmm. 
Let's see. And there we are. That should restore most of the facility's functionality. <clears throat> You're amazing, Arnaud. I didn't know you were so good with machines and stuff. <laughs> well, what do you know? What is it? Hmm. Well, it's just that it looks like this terminal gives me access to some interesting things. Interesting things? Leave this sort of thing to him. It's what he's good at. Yeah, I guess that's teamwork, too. Alelic char... Alelic character. Gene manipulation. Ribosomes. Uh, oligogenes. Oligogenes. Polygene. Environmental adaptation. Mutation. Transition. Nanotechnology. Haha. <laughs> What the hell? They really were working on accelerating evolution. It sounds ridiculous, but it's just like Yuli said. It looks like this is really was an artificial evolution research facility. But how could they actually accomplish such a thing? Using viruses to alter genes? The acceleration of evolution with nanotechnology? That's tough for a regular human being like me to believe. Huh? What do you mean? Put it simply, the evolutionary process I explained to you a few minutes ago is called natural selection. But it's a common theory that's been held for a long time. Uh huh. But natural selection, environmental, and other factors can lead to some selection. But actual examples of evolution are rare. Uh huh. Consequently, a large number of evolutionary hypotheses have been proposed. One of them is the theory of viral evolution. Mm hmm. It's nice that you're paying attention, but you don't have to pretend to understand. Oh. <laughs> really, you must understand at least a little about your power. But since it's so extraordinary, you decided that rather than tell us yourself, it would be easier if we learned about it here. Am I right? <clears throat> yes, I'm so sorry. It's okay, what was your way of telling us about yourself, right? Well, I don't know everything about it myself, but I can tell you what my foster father, who was originally a researcher here, told me after the facility was closed. I think it might give us some clues about Jude's power. My power? The power! Alright. Well, that got us very little to nowhere. We can do that. <clears throat> and now we get into battles. Against raid busters, huh? We can't miss the goods. So a ninja badge and a heel berry. Nice. The ninja badge is a rare steal. <clears throat> and I'm all about rare steals. Try using your brain a little. Now watch me in action. Alright. <clears throat> At least the Octomom's fluids. I wish I could forget all about the facility. Yeah, we give Nectar for our trouble. <clears throat> yeah. Somehow Jude's fallen behind. But that's okay, we'll get him caught up. Um so the ninja badge raises evasion, but reduces resistance. I'll put that. Put that here. It's not a great badge, but it is useful. Oh, 
Well, this time we may as well have him steal. Back to the first room with this sucker. So as long as we don't put it down, I believe it'll continue to burn. Blade and we'll use a duplicator. The extra challenge. Let's take a look at that. Uh, a ROM of the legendary extra challenge game. We'll worry about that later. And then the Arctic Blade increases probability of counterattacks. That's actually better for um, for Raquel. And then we'll put the extra critical here. And the reason being is because we want Raquel to be attacked versus other characters. So yeah, don't worry about that diamond or that gem there, that stone. That is a, like, if you've been following other Wild Arms games, you know that that's a secret boss. And someday, maybe down the road, we will approach that. Usually I tend to fight most of the sub boss the side bosses. It's just the absurdly difficult ones I ignore In these wild arms games. It's not common. Sometimes I even do all of them just because why not but Wild arms Ragula regala fights are fucking Time wasters as far as I'm concerned You get barely anything for accomplishing it. You have to be maxed out at every aspect of the game and yeah Maybe one of these days I'll revisit every Wild Arms and fight Ragula or Dala for laughs. But objectively, it's completely pointless. on trucking.
Let's go over here and grab the staff yet again. Bust this out. Here I go. I wish I could forget all about the facility. <laughs> Yuli's pulling ahead of the pack. Which again I'm okay with because you want your healer to usually be your strongest character. There's no shame in that. No, 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 no bad, bad about that. They're catching up to... Yuli's catching up to Raquel, which is an interesting observation. That's because Raquel usually doesn't get... need to have too many turns taken. Lucky card. Miguela card. Nice. Once enemies start dropping within the couple hundred Gela range, and I'm being specific, like... Then we'll start using Gela cards, but to use them so early and not have much to show for it kind of defeats the purpose. Right. <laughs> there is a time and a place for it, though. Okay, so we have the Impusa. Impusa Yusa. Not standing on a place that actually helps us. So let's do the interlude. Yeah, a lot of luck depends on where Yuli is standing, too. My turn to show off. There we go. Am I this much of a softy? Why am I getting mixed up in this? Is it a pain? Lies at the end of evolution only death. In the evolutionary process of natural selection, life forms that reach a dead end and are unable to adapt to the environment die out. Then just what kind of death awaits us at the end of artificial evolution? The answer is the death of human life as we know it. All test subjects who exhibit a rejection reaction to the gene manipulation transformed into grotesque life forms. The evolutionary mutants are sad byproducts which must be cast aside along the long and winding road of evolution. They are beings whose existence as normal humans has come to an end. But we must continue down this path to overcome death and create a new life. All this for the sake of the future. In the evolution of our research and into evolution, a number of other technologies were developed as well. Most of them were totally worthless, but a few were salvaged and put to use on the battlefield. One such technology incorporated the, digitiz the digitization of souls that were overcome by the fear, suffering, and other negative emotions inherent in humans. 
This data was then installed into the bodies of newly dead soldiers from the battlefield. There are records of an undead combat team created in this manner and the unit's name is Jane Doe. Known only by this name normally used for unidentified females, even the Congressional Knights only speak of them in whispers. Yuki. Alright, hmm. See here. There we go. Now, before we leave, we know there's goodies. the means to go back if we must. Yes, yes, come to me. My doggy friends give me lots of opportunities to steal from you. Nice potion berry, nice heal berry. Let's do this smartly. Let's go over to the right side first. Let's explore the rest of the room before we wander the whole halls, so to speak. Need me lots of heal berries. You'd get the kill here. Hopefully he'll catch up one of these days. But that's okay. Like I said, he will catch up. Delicious altar parts. I think that's it. Here I back here. Let's move on. I won't be afraid. Try using your brain a little. I've got a secret 
myself what I can accomplish. Yeah, hey, hey, nice oh, find, a lucky card. Ooh. Never gonna turn those down. All right, let's let's get moving. Plenty of realm to explore. Put batteries in its butt. Now it's my fault. This isn't the time, you two. If you stand there arguing, it's going to get us. Ow. Uh, I won't give up. Um. Then we have a potion berry. I figured we might need this. Yes, yes, move there. I'll give that a try. Got out. Shut up. I won't be afraid. <laughs> Not that strong. Comet Strike for now. card I'm debating in my head if I should hmm yeah we'll just do it we'll do it XP is pretty good Kill it by the, I would hope that I can kill it by the end of the next round. Let's fragile him up. It takes more than muscle to win a fight. Damn. 
I don't want Jude to get it. So let's make sure he survives. That's that's then there's a lot of X, XP right there, so totally worth it. What the heck was that? Here they manipulated genes and sought to evolve life into new forms. The evolutionary mutant that attacked us just now, it was an unnatural life form. It was created by twisting other pre-existing life forms into something new. Some life, some forms of previously existing life form, some form of previously existing life forms. You mean like animals or insects? Or you can't mean. The facility took in quite a large number of children. Bitter medicines, the intense pain from immune rejection, the isolated operation table on which I had spent so much time. This is why my days, that's what my days were like, and as time passed, all of my friends disappeared one by one. Now that the facility is closed, even the children that were left there are probably... Damn. Don't cry, Yuli. I'm leaving so I can better protect you, alright? So please stop crying, okay? And it's not just you. I'm going to protect the entire world. I'm going to assure a future in which everyone can live in peace. I have to go now, so please don't cry. I'd like to hear you sing, like you always used to. If you sing for me, I won't feel lonely either. So please, Yuli. What's wrong? You're spacing out. I, I'm sorry. I was just remembering some things that happened a long time ago. Hmm. Really? Yeah, it's kind of messed up. Kind of messed up indeed. Why that much of a softy? Why am I getting mixed up in this? Why that much of a softy? Why am I getting mixed up in this? Oh my god. That's kind of like I'm one of the reasons this is happening. Aww. Alright, let's keep moving. There much research experiments using virus-sized microscopic machines to directly manipulate DNA began. It had finally come to testing artificial viral evolution. The inborn characteristics of each individual test subject probably affected the results. An extremely small number of cases were identified as successes. Those included my older brother, the 19 other children who remained, and me. Your older brother? What happened to you and your brother after that? Technically, the experiment was a success, but no one was able to provide the result the adults were looking for. I was categorized as a B plus. The other ch children were all categorized as F's or lower. In other words, despite everything they did to our bodies, those adults decided we were defective. Defective? They treated you? You mean they treated people like objects? In this place, people lives—they're just—they're all just test subjects. 
My brother was WG919F. I was WG920B+. Those ID codes were the only identities we had. Yet you have names. Alright, let's save, because saving's your friend. Let's head over to this area over here. Oh crap, she just Kameha Meha da 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 da. Get rid of the real issue here. Save point again, anyway. So, I can't back down. Oh, that just sucks. Part of me passively is like, if you were using a quick save system and emulating this game, which I'm not, I don't emulate unless I have to. Um, It's one of those things where it's like, could have quick loaded and knew exactly where it was going to be. Maybe. Probably not, though. I don't think it really works that way. Characters are slowly approaching level 14. Fight it. Let's go recover. I won't miss this opportunity. And that's why counterattack is awesome. So, yeah, everybody caught up kind of to where Yuli is because she's about to level two. All right. So, pretty much I'm going to get Yuli that, I think, extra level just so we have it. Um, and then actually, theoretically, we could turn encounters off for the rest of the dungeon because there's not much of the dungeon really left. So... 
meh. You know, not not much to really say about the whole process in and of itself. Because yeah, we're about to kind of be. There we go. <laughs> And the battle is won! So yeah, Yuli's leveled up. We can look and see if there's any real major skills that our characters can learn. Like class up at this point or isolation for Arnaud. I don't think so, but um, he's got 10 points. Actually, he does have enough. So there's isolate now. Learn character in the target hex is moved arbitrarily. So that means if we don't, if there's an enemy in a hex we don't want him in, we can move him. Um, or if one of our characters or whatever we have with us gets stuck in one. Um, I think the stats are actually more important right now. Turn shift and replace meh. Gather is good, but we're pretty far away from learning that. Um, high sanctify as well, so no point in worrying about any of that. No point in that. That that might be useful, but I not at the loss of her HP. Um, we'll do that. The thing with the class level ups, for anybody wondering, is I find them to be quasi-temporary. I don't have to commit to it that much, but there's our joint struggle back. Okay, and I think we're good for right now. So with that said, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash for more live going. gaming action. Because when we come back, we're going to get some more info about, hopefully, about Yuli. Because we got a little bit here. And we actually got more information from that little cutscene with her brother than I think they intended. Again, there's some weird wonkiness in this story that's kind of funny. But anyway, with that said... Thanks for stopping by, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.